So, uh, so I started my regulatory career about a year and a half after uh, finishing university. I started working as a con contract agency, and uh, and then um, and then obviously got a permanent role. But I think the drive for me to go into regulatory is very much doing a life science degree and having worked in a, a publishing um, uh, company for a year and a half. And I enjoyed that, but I really enjoyed the reason why, and regulatory was the reason why, and therefore um, just, as I said, happened to find a contract uh, a role, which then actually led to me uh, working with what was Smith Klein Beach and then, and 25 years later, I'm still working for the same company under different guises, completely different roles, but still under regulatory. So that's my story of how I got into regulatory. <laughs> Well, I like regulatory because there's, again, you know, it's black and white in the sense of why we do it, the foundations of, you know, why I do my role, what I do in my role, how I advise my team on how and what they need to be doing next. But it's also the ambiguity. So you can also, you know, talk to a commercial colleague, get very excited about the fact that, oh, actually that's a new area of regulations. We can maybe push the boundaries here. We can maybe work externally and help that agenda to become more of a proactive uh, mechanism to then you know really do something different and uh, wow our commercial colleagues so so no that's why I like regulatory it might be black and white but there's also that whole level of ambiguity around it um, I've given quite a lot of advice to people in the past in different functions who have always looked at regulatory and haven't really understood what it means and I think once you actually start understanding the dynamics and as I said the sort of uh, the the scope that regulatory has because it's not just you know said sort of regulations it's the whole application of those regulations and actually the the real um, strategy building and then the execution and there's so many sections of it that I think when people understand what regulatory can give to them as a career, it's hugely beneficial. And, and I think obviously we need more and more people in regulatory because you know our commercial colleagues, our quality supply chain colleagues all kind of increase in, in numbers around us. And if we don't have really good um, uh, regulatory professionals being able to support lots of those initiatives, then it's, it's harder for us to deliver. So we need lots and lots of people in regulatory. <laughs> Okay, so I would say for somebody who's thinking about joining RAPS that actually you need to have a, a, a plan, your development plan. It's really important because there's so much you can do and there's so many different areas to regulations that actually to understand what area interests you, what you think about, uh, you know, whether it's uh, medicines or pharmaceuticals or medical devices, you know, what is it that you enjoy and, um, you know, and really kind of understand what you want to take out of the, of the sort of a huge amount of, uh, of materials and um, activities and conferences that are available, um, whether that's webinars, virtual, coming to, to, uh, to the convergence and, and being able to meet people face to face because that network that you build in an area that really drives you is going to really support your development and what you want to get out of the of wraps. I, I didn't do it that long ago. I did it about four years ago and it was kind of, I suppose, I'd gone through university, I'd worked for you know, a, a good few years and I just thought it was something that I could um, recognise myself as actually having um, you know, learned a lot of, of regulation, like regulatory work and actually being quite, I suppose, focused in certain areas in my career. Um, the RAPS gave me a bit of a wider scope to actually learn a bit more about all the other parts of regulatory that actually my, my job, my day-to-day -day work doesn't cover. So it was a challenge and actually rewarding because I passed. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been great. It's been great to gather with, with so many, uh, you know, experienced people and uh, to have such a, a, a variety of subjects covered. Um, it's been overwhelming really with all of the um, you know the great sessions and you know so many people here and which ones to choose so it's been about you know again being trying to um, sort of figure out how and, and who to speak to um, you know being completely spoiled so there's been uh, not quite a moment I feel quite exhausted after the three days to go back to the UK and sit on a plane for 11 hours is going to be quite the rest that I need to recover so it's been really good.